Today I'm going to read Little Otter Learns to Swim. It's written by Artie Knapp and illustrated by Guy Hobbs. The author sent me this book and I just can't wait to read it to you. It's wonderful. Little Otter Learns to Swim. Little Otter started to quiver. She was scared of the mighty river. It was the first time away from her den. But Mother Otter told her to jump in. Then Little Otter was having fun, splashing about in the summer sun. Her first swimming lesson was about to begin. Little Otter's excitement caused Mother to grin. Mother Otter was patient and taught her pup with love. They swam underwater. and floated above. Diving practice came next as Little Otter dove off logs. It's a great way to sneak up on unsuspecting frogs. When lessons were done, it was time for a rest. Little Otter lay snug against Mother's chest. The next few weeks were more of the same. Swimming, diving, and playing water games. One morning, Mom said, Mother said she'd return in a hurry. But seeing a bobcat made little Otter worry. The bobcat was young too. It stared and hissed. Then an eagle swooped down, but luckily missed. Little Otter was frightened and dove underwater. Although afraid, she was a proud otter's daughter. When she came up, Mother still was away, so little otter ran home to hide for the day. Mother otter returned and listened intently. She comforted her pup and spoke to her gently. The river, said Mother, is the safest place to be, away from their predators like wolf and coyote. At dawn, little Otter hurried back to the river. The moon was still lighting the sky with a sliver. The river was where little Otter longed to be. There she was home with great company. Here's some facts about the North American river otters and how you can help them. And a little more about the author and the illustrator. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe and like so you don't miss another story. If you have a story you'd like me to read, leave a note in the comment section below.